Saturday Night Live return for its first show of 2019. And Pete Davidson shouted out I didn't mention her once. At the end of his segment on Weekend Update as he appeared to reference his ex Ariana Grande. Pete has been known to publicly talk about his split with the pop superstar on the NBC sketch show as well as his recent stand-up comedy routines. He also addressed his harrowing suicide message he posted in December for the first time during his segment on Weekend Update with the help of fellow comedian John Mulaney. John explained that he was teaching Pete that you can have a life in comedy that is not insane. To which Pete joked, after observing John's life, I publicly threatened suicide. Pete was referring to his Instagram post after he broke up with Ariana Grande that read, I really don't want to be on this earth anymore. I'm doing my best to stay here for you but I actually don't know how much longer I can last. All I've ever tried to do was help people. Just remember I told you so. He ended it with a heart emoji. Following the comment, the New York Police Department sent an officer to SNL Studios in Manhattan to ensure the star was present and not in distress, according to the New York Times. Meanwhile, Rachel Brosnahan took over the hosting duties as Greta Van Fleet was the musical guest. The show opened with a parody of Deal or No Deal called Government Shutdown Edition with Steve Harvey hosting instead of Howie Mandel. Steve explains to the first contestant President Donald Trump, played by Alec Baldwin, that they called him on stage as he can only understand a deal via a TV game show with women holding briefcases. Nancy Pelosi, played by Kate McKinnon, offers him the border wall for $1 billion and Trump has to call Nancy his mother. Chuck Schumer offers Trump $15 and a pastrami on rice sandwich. Cardi B offers him shmoney as embattled congressman Steve King offers whites. During her opening monologue, Brosnahan is joined by Cecily Strong to discuss having fun in 2019. Even though there's a government shutdown, a teacher's strike, and Brexit. A newscast regarding an earthquake in Northern California where the reporter interviews survivors from the change of name office. A string of hilariously embarrassing names are then listed including Holden Tudix a commercial parody about a portable urn called Leave Me Alone is introduced. The fake urn is used so unknown men won't bother women with small talk. And also can be used as a phone charger. The tagline was Kill Small Talk. Dead Millennial Millions was a game show parody featuring Rachel vs. Pete Davidson as millennials trying to defeat baby boomers. The baby boomers get to complain about how difficult their life is with money and houses as the millennials can't interrupt. The raunchiest Miss Rita is a parody of the marvelous Mrs. Meisel as Leslie Jones is a potty mouth stand-up comedian. Greta Van Fleet performed their electrifying number Black Smoke Rising. Elizabeth Warren played by McKinnon, stopped by the Weekend Update to explain her decision for a run at the presidency in 2020. Pete Davidson appeared to talk about the movie The Mule with John Mulaney. Apparently they thought it was an awful movie where Clint Eastwood is 90 years old driving Mexican drugs across the border and has two three ways. Leslie hosts her own talk show Tabitha and has a new book called The Obedient Husband. She shows clips of her husband looking ashamed after doing things that dogs do in and look guilty in viral videos. A commercial parody of the Gillette Toxic Masculinity ad is given a new spin as the Kool-Aid man has gone too far. A group of prospective Mattel employees are interviewed to help the social media campaign for Barbie's boyfriend Kentucky.